So I'm going to be talking about an integration we've worked on in the past few weeks um, to extract quality insights from great expectations and surface them inside of Data Hub. So we'll get right into it. First, we'll just kind of go over what is great expectations for the folks who may be unaware. Basically, great expectations is a way to define assertions or tests on particular data assets and then evaluate them repeatedly over time to track the quality of a, of a data set. The goal being to maintain the data set's quality uh, through time as it changes. So some examples I pulled from the great expectations documentation um, is this. So you would define this in your Python code, basically an expectation of what you would expect from a data set, either at the table level or at the column level. So in this case, we have an example that expects the column named passenger count to always have a value that's between some minimum and some maximum. Additionally, there's a, there's a large set of sort of standard expectations as they call them uh, that you can use to validate different characteristics of your table. So for example, expecting columns to exist or the table columns, the structure of the schema to match some predefined list, et cetera. Um, so, what we got from the community was a request to um, uh, display the outcomes of the great expectations assertion suites in data hub for all the um, perfectionists out there we had to make one modification to that request. Uh, so the solution they wanted to see is as an end user um, to be able to see the types of assertions, uh, specifically the results of running the assertions associated with a data set inside of data hub. Um, additionally, with the requirement to be able to see the assertion runs over time or over history. And so now I'm just going to jump right into a demo where I'll talk about how to actually configure the integration. And then I'll run some expectations and show you what the output looks like once we've ingested that into Data Hub. So I'm going to step over to a local Great Expectations project that I've got here. Uh, in my main great expectations configuration YAML, I've configured a connection to a local Postgres DB, which contains two tables. The one we'll be interested in is called Taxi Data Jan 19, which contains some information about taxi cab rides given in January of 2019. Um, so we've already gone ahead and defined a set of expectations that I'd like to run against this table. So basically just some tests or assertions. A few of them that we have in here are you know, expecting the table columns to match a predefined list, expecting the row count to be between a particular minimum and max, and expecting a column to always have values that fall into a finite set among a few other types of expectations. Once we've defined our expectations, um, we have to use a checkpoint to actually run the expectations against our taxi Jan 19th table. Um, so I'm going to go into a checkpoint file that I've configured. And you can see that we configure this, this to run against the taxi Jan 19th table. And we're using that suite, which is just a group of expectations that I previously showed you. Um, there's also an interesting configuration called action list. And this is where we're going to configure the integration with Data Hub. So actions in great expectations are a way to run code once an, a checkpoint has been hit. And so if you go down to line 20, you can see what the Data Hub integration will look like. It's basically five lines that invokes a Data Hub specific action when my assertion run, suite runs. And what it'll do is actually sync that to my Data Hub instance, which is running on localhost 8080. So now I'm going to run through the process of uh, in, ingesting uh, an assertion run into Data Hub. First thing we'll need to do in our great expectations environment is actually just install the great expectations plugin of Acral Data Hub. Now I've already gotten that installed, so I'm just going to skip that step. But once we've done that, we can run this checkpoint and hopefully this will execute the suite as well as push data into my local data hub. Okay, so you can see that the suite ran. And it says that all of the assertions passed. Specifically, there were nine of them. Now I'm going to navigate over to Data Hub and show you what it will look like inside of Data Hub. So I'm just going to search for that table and I'm going to click it. 
And what you'll immediately notice is a new indicator on the side of the title here, which indicates that this data set is passing all of the assertions that Data Hub is aware of. You'll also notice a new tab called validation. I'm going to go ahead and click on that to see the current status of this data set. What you can see inside of here is a top level summary saying that all of the assertions that Data Hub is aware of are currently passing for this data set. You can also see kind of human uh, English descriptions of each type of assertion. And if you hover over it, you can see the native great expectations operator that was run. Finally, you can pop these open and actually check the history of the runs. And you can see that we've only run this one time and it passed. We can also see the information about the run output here. So this is what a succeeding set of expectations or assertions on a table can look like in Data Hub. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what failing expectations looks like. And for that, I'll go to this Feb 19th table. So we can see that this one's actually failing one of nine of its assertions that we know about. And we can go over here to actually see that this is the assertion that's failing. If we pop that open. We can see when it was run. OK, this one was actually run quite a bit of time ago for the last time. And we can see that it failed with an invalid count of seven, meaning that seven values of the vendor ID column were null. Finally, I'm going to show you what it looks like when there's a little bit more information uh, in our table here. So in this case, we can look back for a whole year and see the output of every single time that this assertion has run against the data set. So yeah, this is pretty much the demo. Uh, initially, we will support great expectations, but we've modeled this in a fairly general purpose way with this concept of assertions such that we can support things like DQ, among other um, types of validation systems. So now I'm going to navigate back to the, the, de the presentation here. So quick configuration recap for great expectations in particular. Um, in your great expectations environment, you're going to want to install April Data Hub great expectations plugin. You're going to want to add the Data Hub validation action to any checkpoints you have. You're going to want to execute them, and then you can view the results in Data Hub as assertions. So just briefly, I'll talk about you know, how this works under the hood, particularly the modeling. We have a new entity on Data Hub that we call assertion. Um, assertion can be associated with other entities, and it does exactly what you would think. It just defines conditions that are executed against a particular entity. We also have a special time series aspect we've added called assertion run event. And this is basically what powers that overtime view, historical view. Every time an assertion runs, an assertion run event will be produced to give different information about the assertion run, like its status, its results, maybe how much time it took, things like that. And in this case, we have just a basic relationship between the assertion entity and the data set. So now I'll quickly cover the availability. Um, in Data Hub version 0828, which is the next release, we will be shipping support for data set table and column assertions from Great Expectations. Um, support for Great Expectations v3 API, which is their latest API. Um, we're going to push assertion results, as you saw, in real time via that checkpoint action. And we're going to support the SQL Alchemy execution engine inside of Great Expectations. Now, there are other engines like Spark and Pandas, but that will be not in the V1 support. Finally, we'll have a GraphQL API, which will allow you to check the assertion status for a particular data set. And I think this is actually pretty powerful because it allows you to build automated workflows that only proceed if maybe some input data sets are actually passing their most recent assertions. Finally, I'll just talk about where we see this feature going, um, starting with some improvements we have to make already to the Great Expectations Connector. Um, we want to support other execution engines, like I alluded to, Spark, Pandas. Um, support for legacy APIs, depending on the feedback we get from the community. I think there are some people who are still working with the V2 APIs, as V3 is actually kind of new. Um, support for cross data set assertions, which is an advanced feature in Great Expectations. Support for conditional expectations, which is basically expectations that only apply to a subset of a table based on some filtering criteria. Finally, the new integrations we'd like to support. Again, this will be driven based on community demand, um, but we have in mind DQ and potentially even SOTA SQL. 
So help the core team out. Tell us what you want to see here, and we'll do our best to prioritize it. OK, that's it for me. Just, just based on demand here, DBT test. OK, DBT test. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thanks. Uh, back to you, Maggie.